In most jobs, you need to do some kind of research. You might want to research a topic for a presentation you're delivering, a product you want to purchase, or an article you're planning to write. In this video, you'll learn how to use OneNote to effectively structure your research. You'll learn how to collect information from various places, how to keep track of online sources, and how to summarize everything you need to follow up on. Let me show you. I'm giving a presentation about motivation at our company offsite. I'll open up OneNote to start collecting information about the topic. I'll open the notebook that I use for work. Under the Presentations section group, I'll create a new section for my research. To create a new section, right-click the section group where you want to create the section and select New Section. Or go to the section group and just click the tab plus sign. Hi, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know that if you're annoyed by the ads in this video, you can access our tutorials ad-free by getting a subscription to businessproductivity.com or signing up for one of our many courses on platforms such as Udemy, CyberU, and Vimeo On Demand. I also wanted to take this opportunity to tell you a bit more about Storials. Storials, which stands for Story-Based Tutorials, is our video package offering for organizations that want to increase employee productivity using Office 365. With Storials, organizations can inspire, motivate, and educate users on effective use of Office 365 by showcasing real-life best practices. Finally, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channels, Business Productivity and Storials. Here you will also find my video blog, Succeed in the Digital Workplace, as well as other videos that can help you increase your productivity. If you have any questions or comments, please post them here and I'll do my very best to get back to you. With that, let's go back to the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Here I'll create a section called Motivation. I'll write a short objective for my speech. Now I want to gather some more information on the topic. I know that I have some good information about motivation already on my PC. I'll press the keyboard shortcut Windows button F to open up the file search in Windows 8. I'll search for motivation. Here I can see a number of different results. I'll open up this PowerPoint presentation on The Simple Secrets of Motivation by Professor Henry Moon at London Business School. I'd like to include this into my notes. To insert a document printout into your notes, press the keyboard shortcut Windows key N to open up the Send to OneNote tool. Click on the second icon to send the current file you have open as a file printout to OneNote. Here I get to select where I want the printout to be sent. I'll select the current section and click OK. The document is converted into images and inserted into my notebook. If you have a long document, the pages or slides will be organized as sub-pages with one page or slide on each page. You can collapse the sub-pages by clicking the arrow on the first page. If you prefer to have all the pages or slides inserted in a single notebook page, you can change the settings by clicking the File tab, Options, Advanced, and at the very bottom in the Printout section, uncheck the option to insert long printouts on multiple pages and click OK. With this setting applied, all the images will be inserted into one single page if you send the documents to OneNote. Another way to send file printouts to OneNote is to go to the File tab and select Print. In the Printer selection, select Send to OneNote 2013 and then click Print. You can see the pages being printed in the notification bar. Open up OneNote and select where to insert the printout. I'll select the current section. The pages are converted to images and inserted into your notes. Since I already have the printouts, I'll delete this page. I've received an interesting article from Nora called The Surprising Facts About Motivation that I'd like to include into my research notes.
You can send any email from Outlook directly to OneNote. Under the Home tab, in the Move section, click OneNote. Select where you want the email to be inserted. I'll select the current section and click OK. The entire contents of the email, including the subject, who it's from, and the date of the email is copied into your notes. Sending email to OneNote is a great way to collect information, but sometimes you want to send information from an email client other than Outlook where you don't have a OneNote button. During my lunch break, I'm watching a great TED Talk on a tablet device where I don't have Outlook installed. I want to add this web page to my research notes. You can set up OneNote to receive email from defined email accounts from any device. To register one or multiple email accounts with OneNote, go to www.onenote.com slash email settings. Here you can define which email addresses you want to accept email from. Your primary Microsoft account address is visible here. You can add multiple email addresses by adding them to your Microsoft account email alias list. I'll just leave my default business address and click Save. To send an email to OneNote, open up the email client. Here I'll use Windows Mail. Address the email to me at onenote.com. The first time you send an email to OneNote, you'll receive an email with a link to the notebook. You will find all email you send to me at onenote.com in your Quick Notes section. The Quick Notes section is a collection of all your unorganized notes. To open up the page in the OneNote desktop client, click Open in OneNote. To move the page to the desired location, I'll right-click and select to move it into my section on Motivation. Now I want to spend some time to go through the information I've gathered. In OneNote, you can tag content to easier keep track of it. In the article about interesting facts on motivation, I'd like to tag certain things I want to follow up on later. To tag content in OneNote, place your marker anywhere in the paragraph you want to tag. Here I'll go to the paragraph where a book called Drive by Daniel Pink is mentioned. On the Home tab, in the Tags section, click the drop-down to see the full list of built-in tags. You can use existing tags, modify existing tags, or create tags all of your own. Here I'll select the tag called Book to Read. You can see a little book icon next to the paragraph. Next, I want to highlight a section in the text with important information that I want to make sure to add to my presentation. I'll mark the text and click the Tags drop-down to see all the tags. Here is a tag called Highlight that I can use. In addition to marking the text with a pen symbol, I also want to highlight the text with a yellow marker. To modify a tag, right-click and select Modify Tag. Here you can select between various symbols. I'll just leave the pen symbol. You can also select Font Color and Highlight Color. I'll click the Highlight Color and change it to yellow. Now, if I tag the paragraph, the text is tagged and highlighted. I'll delete the space in between the sentences to make it into a single paragraph. I'll continue to go through the presentation on motivation. I'd like to do more research on Hertzberg's theory on motivation, so I want to tag this. Since there's no default tag for research, I'll create one. To create a new tag, Open up the tag list and select Customize Tags, and then click New Tag. Give your tag a name, I'll name this Research, and then select your preferred icon, and then click OK. Now I'll mark the slide and tag it with my Research tag. I'll continue to go through my information and tag things for follow-up and further research. By tagging information in your notebook, you can easily find things you want to follow up on. To summarize your tags, on the Home tab in the Tags section, click Find Tags. Here you can decide how to group the tags. I'll leave the default, which is by name. Further down, you can select which tags you want to list. Here I'll select only to find the tags within this section. 
As you can see, you now get a good overview of all your tags, and you can easily access the content by just clicking on a tag. To get a better overview of all tags, click Create Summary Page to create a page that consolidates all the tags and summarizes them on one single page. Now I want to do some more research on the internet on Hertzberg. I'll create a new page for the research. To easier collect information online, you can dock OneNote to the desktop by clicking the View tab and then select Dock to Desktop. OneNote automatically resizes and places itself on the right-hand side of your desktop while hiding menus so that you can focus on your notes page. A little staple icon tells you that the notes in OneNote are being linked to the research you do online. I'll take some notes on Hertzberg's theory and then copy some of the text. To open up OneNote in normal view again, click the double-sided arrow. If you hover over the text you typed or copied while in dock desktop mode, the link to the web source is visible. As you can see, OneNote is a great tool for organizing your research.